Hello and welcome to this lesson. Today I will show you how we can design a simple app to be used to calculate area of the square and of rectangle. This app is very simple because we will only design two text boxes, one to accept the value for the length, another one to accept the value for the width. Then we will have a button here. When you click this button, the area is calculated and the result is shown below here. That is how simple it is. I'm going to use the HTML and the CSS languages to design the interface. Then afterwards we will use JavaScript code to activate this button to do the calculation work. I will start Notepad. I will go ahead now and type the code for the HTML and CSS. I will close this tag down here. Next, I will split this page into two sections, the head and the body part. The head will always contain the page title and other things, and the body is the actual part which contains the information on the page. And inside the head, I will put title for the page using the title tag and I can write here calculate area below in the body I will go ahead and have heading level 2 here using h2 and the heading of this app will be calculating area of square or rectangle that is the heading below in the heading i need uh, a label for length and a text box to accept the length value which will be typed by the user then this text box we have to give it a unique name or id and i will call it length i will put a br tag here to break the flow of the components from left to right on a web page, then I will also put another one BR to create an empty space or line. I will copy this code for the label and text box and modify it to create label and text box for the second value, which is width. I will even change now the ID to width. Now below the two text boxes, of course we need a button here. So I'll just put here input type uh, is a button. You can write submit, type is submit. And this thing, this button has a label on it. And to write the label, you use the value attribute. And I will write it calculate area. Then this button requires an action. And we will use a function whose name I am just giving it calculate. That is how you write the name of the function with two brackets at the end. This name can be anything, but ensure you put two brackets at the end. Then below the button, 
of course I need uh, a paragraph here to introduce the answer so this is paragraph I can write here area is area is that will introduce the answer then of course below here again I need a paragraph to show me the answer itself and that one I will do using an empty paragraph and it will be receiving a value when a button is clicked and I will name this as ans then I want the answer to appear in red text so I will style it with CSS right style then two quotation marks inside just right color colon red semicolon I will just pick this CSS code and take it to my heading here heading level 2 and paste it and change this heading to blue color like that so I will go ahead and save this page so that I show it on web browser and see how it looks I can save it on my desktop I have a folder here and I can call it area dot html click save after opening the page you can see the web page has a title it has heading in blue color two text boxes to accept values from the user and a button to do the calculation part this label is there to introduce the answer which will appear below here going back to our code now so to do the calculation I will have to come and write a script here by script I mean JavaScript code and to start it you have to start with this tag script then end with the same tag here but with slash inside here I want to define a function which is already named here so I'll copy this name and bring it down here and write the word function and paste that put curly brackets like that between the curly brackets I will go ahead and create variable called L, L for length, a variable contains a value, it is just a memory location set aside with a certain name where you can keep a value in it to be used in future. So I will give this variable L a value from text box called length by writing document dot get element by id just like that then I will pick this name for this text box and paste that id here so what do I want from this text box dot value I want the value which was typed in it now for the second variable I will just copy this line put it below here and now I want a variable w and this we pick it from a text box called width so I will paste the name width here and finally I need another variable to contain the answer of calculation and I will call it res so you can now view a number times another number and the value will be stored in the variable res this number is a function which converts 
any value from the text box into a number format and it is an inbuilt function it is within javascript you don't need to define it so i will pick this variable which probably will be containing a value from text box length to be converted here into a number i will pick this variable which will be containing a value from text box width to be converted into a number then finally be multiplied by this asterisk or star then the result will be inside the rest finally i want to show to the user the result in rest by putting that result in this paragraph and ans. so to put it into the ans paragraph i will come and write document dot get element by id then that id must be ans so i will copy it from here and paste it here then when it is there in the paragraph i will change the content of that paragraph to, by using in html to show the rest and that is how simple it is i will go ahead and save it after refreshing this web page now i can go ahead and test my app assuming the area of a square is what i want and one side of the square is 40 maybe centimeter or meters then the other end is 40 then to get the area we'll calculate here by clicking this button so the area is 1600 either centimeter square or meter square depending on which unit you are you want this is only calculating the number part the units it doesn't matter if you used meters then it will be meter square if you use centimeters it will be centimeter square you can also test it with the decimal numbers assuming that is the length and my width is uh, maybe 45.12 if I click, you can say get the answer in decimal places. So this application is good and it is accurate. You can have a try and see how it works. Thank you for participating by watching this lesson. See you next time. Bye bye.